Guys, Nano Dimension is taking a beating this week, right? It's taking a beating. I said last week, you're never going to get these prices again. And now we got them again. But is this an opportunity to buy more or should you panic? And that's what I want to talk about in this video because I think a lot of you guys are panicking. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. We talk about stocks on this channel and we talk about Nano Dimension a lot. And a lot of you guys are freaking out because of the price action today. It got down to a low of $6.03. $6.03. Take a look at this price action. So we're going to pull up the chart here. This is TradingView. If you guys aren't familiar with this platform, get familiar with this platform because I think it's really, really helpful when you look at charts to be able to use a good platform that shows you kind of everything that's going on in the day. If you just use things like, like Robinhood, for instance, you're not going to get the full picture of the stock, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. TradingView is a, is a really cool platform. But at one point today, right, just not that long ago, just a couple hours ago, we were at $6.04 a share for Nano Dimension. It's a tough day. It's been a tough few days. It's been a tough week, right? So what happened this week? Monday, they announced a brand new direct offering. A brand new direct offering for $180 million. But what a direct offering is, we've talked about it many, many times, right? They're entering into agreements with institutions to buy shares of the stock. And this time, the direct offering was for $6. It was for $6 per share. The last direct offering was for $5 per share. The direct offerings are going up, guys. They're not going down. It's not like, like they're offering a huge, 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 huge discount on the shares. And it felt like that at the time because we were in the $7 range. We got up to a high of almost $8, $7.97. So it's tough to see a direct offering at six, but it makes sense for the company to try to raise this money and they close that offering on Wednesday. The shares are gone, they're already sold. So were your shares diluted? Sure, a little bit. But now the company is worth an extra $180 million. You've gotta keep that in mind when you think about Nano Dimension. So are we having a tough week? Absolutely. Some of you, I've heard from at least one of you on Instagram who treated this as a buying opportunity, who specifically said, what's going on with Nano Dimension? I'm not panicking, I'm actually buying more, and I averaged, averaged my position. So that's the mentality that I think you should have, especially when you still believe in a company. Like what changed fundamentally with, with Nano Dimension this week? You've got to ask yourself that, right? So if you're, if you're a long-term holder of Nano Dimension and you're not just swing trading it, which this company is br absolutely brilliant for swing trading, if you're into that sort of thing, but if you're a long-term holder of this company, you have to ask yourself, well, what changed from Monday to today? What changed with the con company in a fundamental way that makes you want to panic or makes you feel like you should sell your shares? You have to ask yourself that question. If the answer is nothing changed fundamentally, then you shouldn't panic, right? Like think about that, right? And that's why a lot of people aren't panicking and are treating this as a buying opportunity because nothing fundamentally changed. We have another uh, video coming out about NEO. I bought shares in NEO today because I think this is a buying opportunity for NEO. Nothing fundamentally changed. They did a public offering, not a direct offering, big, big difference. But with a big company like NEO, right? That, that is worth billions and billions of dollars for them to raise two and a half billion dollars. And now, yes, there is share dilution, but now your shares are, are part of a much bigger company. You've got to, you've got to factor that in when you think of offerings. When we talked about Aqua Bounty the other day, it's a different story. When a company like Aqua Bounty, that's really, really small, does a public offering, it does dilute shares. When there isn't a ton of demand for shares of Aqua Bounty, like there is with Neo, it's a big, big difference. With Nano Dimension, they didn't need public demand for this direct offering because it was a direct to institution, direct to investor offering that they already entered into agreements with. And that's why it closed already. It's already done. The company is now worth an extra $180 billion. And now the share price is around $6 per share. So you've got to think about whether this is a buying opportunity or not. Because personally, I think it is. I think it's a buying opportunity. I have a cost basis of 377. You guys know that. I keep saying that over and over again. I'm not averaging up my position at this point because I, I think I'm fully invested in where I want to be with Nano Dimension right now. But there's some cool things happening with the company too. Um, I, I, I found an article based on a, vid a video I watched on John Paul's uh, uh, channel. 
If you, if you watch nano dimension videos, you're probably familiar with his videos as well. And he had a good analysis on this, on this uh, article. And I'm gonna read a little bit about it, but I'm not gonna pretend to know a ton about it. I'm just gonna give you kind of a, a very, very elementary level understanding because that's what I have of this article. So we're gonna talk about that. But first I wanna show you uh, the ARC Q fund again. This is the ARC Autonomous Technologies and Robotics ETF. Nano dimension is a big holding for ARC Invest. It really, really is. If you look at and now, uh, Nano Dimension is in the number 23 spot. Sad, that looks sad, right? But, but it's not, right? They just made a large position in Badu of uh, $27 million. So that's the only reason that Nano Dimension is now in the 23rd place. Um, but they have 3.8 million shares. They are consistently adding to keep their position at right around 2% of the fund. Um, I anticipate once we get close to any sort of like merger or acquisition talk or a good PR spike or something, I think they will increase their position again uh, because a 2% weighting is actually pretty good. You have to go all the way up into what? The, thir the 13, almost the top 10 spots before you get into the 3% range. So I, uh, that's, it's a really good thing that they're in such a high position here. 2% of the fund is, is nano dimension. So you guys got to keep that in mind. What changed, right? If something changed fundamentally, not that we're, we're in, this, in this stock just solely because of ARK Invest. And, and if you are, you shouldn't be. I mean, ARK Invest does some great research, right? So, so that's a good thing. But please don't invest in a company purely because ARK Invest is invested, right? They have billions of dollars to invest. They can take, a, take some losses if they're wrong, okay? And, and it, you know, if 2% of your portfolio is in nano dimension, cool, right? But if, if 30 or 40 or 50% of your portfolio is in nano dimension and you're wrong or we're wrong, right? A lot of us can't, can't afford that sort of loss, right? But, but ARK Invest can. So you've got to factor that thinking out when you, when you try to invest like ARK Invest and, and cherry pick instead of investing in their ETFs. Their ETFs are tremendously performing, right? They, like, they perform very, very well. They have for the past few years and uh, this year especially. Um, so if, if you want to diversify a little more, you can invest in the entire fund all of their ETFs if you want to. Um, their innovation ETF, Tesla is in the ARC-Q ETF. Um, so there's, there's, um, there's a lot of ways to invest that you don't have to worry about your investments as much um, because you know that if, if one of these companies goes down, the ETF will still be there. So, uh, but let's, uh, let's jump over this, let's go over this news here quick. So this is actually an article that Nano Dimension put on their Twitter account. Uh, they got a cool Twitter handle, it's 3DPCB, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so if you aren't uh, following them, you can get, they pretty much post on there daily. Um, but, but look at this thing, it looks like, what does it look like? If you guys ever took a science class, it looks like a, just a normal slide that you would put under a microscope, right? It just looks like a normal slide. But it says microfluid processor. The heck does that mean? So essentially with this new, this new type of thing that they're doing, um, they have, they've created these devices called lab on chip. Devices integrate laboratory functions, circuitry and electrodes on a single integrated circuit, commonly called a chip, to achieve automation and high throughput screening. So what all of these little things are, like these are little tunnels here and circuits and where microfluids can actually go through these little tunnels and be processed. So you can, these, these institutions or companies can design these LOC, these lab on chip devices. And it, it, this is a cool little statistic here, right? Due to the new process, you can prototype as many as 20 to 30 devices in one single print directly from a CAD file without the need for a mold and test your de designs the next day. So an institution could, could make 20 to 30 different prototypes they don't know exactly which one's gonna work the best or be the most efficient or give them the best results. And then the next day they can be testing those. Like the power of these Dragonfly LDM systems, like that should illustrate it for you more than, than anything. So in, within a day, a company could create prototypes, test those prototypes, and then have designs that are workable within a day. 
But normally what a company would have to do, even if they were able to create these microfluid processors in the first place, but let's say they could, right, with a different company. They, they would send their designs to a different company. The company would print those. It would be a weeks and weeks turnaround, right, before they'd even be able to use those. And there's an issue with intellectual property, okay? So not only are they sending their designs to some other company, right, they're having to wait a long time, having these machines in-house. How, how, how powerful is that from an intellectual property standpoint? It's a very powerful thing. You've got, you've got to think about that when you think of nano dimension. So they, they're, they're really revolutionizing this game. And, and this even gave me a little more conviction in the company for the long term. If they can do something like this with these microfluid processors, again, not gonna, not gonna pretend to even understand it at all. You know, this, this talks about specifically RNA and DNA sequencing. Um, there's a new, uh, a new thing with Google, a, a new AI thing, AI based thing with Google that allows companies to, to have enough compute power to sequence in like seconds instead of what would normally take uh, like much, 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 much longer. Um, so that coupled with this, I mean, there's some crazy, crazy things out there that are happening right now in this space that um, are massive. So I'm glad that they're working with, you know, companies that are doing this RNA and DNA sequencing because this is really, this is next generation stuff, guys. This isn't, you know, this is something that whether they buy somebody out or somebody buys them or whatever, like their intellectual property, nano dimension specifically, it's worth a lot of money. It's worth a lot of money, regardless of how you feel about the company. They're doing some revolutionary things. They really, really, really are. Um, so I wanted to hopefully give you, quell some of your fears about price action. Hopefully, uh, you, you, you don't panic. If you're long on this company, what changed? Nothing changed in the fundamentals, as far as I can tell. If something did, tell me, please tell me. Um, if I'm missing some sort of research, let me know because I don't, I don't wanna be wrong, right? Um, but again, a, a lot of us are in this stock from like the $2 range or $3 range or $4 range so we can weather the storm. Um, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried or hesitant about this company at all because I, again, my cost basis is low and I, and I understand some of yours aren't, um, but there's already some good buy volume uh, today after that drop to 604, so please don't panic. <laughs> but again, I can't, uh, I can't even tell you to panic or not panic. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys gotta keep that in mind. Please do your own research. Check out this Twitter account, 3DPCB on Twitter, and you can get some cool news on Nano Dimension. Uh, sign up for the ARK Invest emails. Check a look, take a look at the ARK, uh, ARK Q fund on a daily basis, and you can kind of see how much they're buying. All you have to do is do the math. Um, and then there's some, some tracking uh, uh, apps and, and websites out there as well that can help you pay attention uh, to what ARK is doing if you're interested in that sort of thing. So guys, thank you so much for all the support. Hey, if you, uh, if you missed the live stream yesterday, we did a great live stream yesterday. It was super, super fun. And I say great because I had a lot of fun. Like seriously, it was like 40 minutes. The time just freaking flew by. We had a lot of laughs. Um, and I, I, I don't know, it was just amazing. Um, we're already at over 17,000 subscribers, which is super, super cool. But I gave away $500 on that live stream. And there are three more people that can win. All you have to do is go over and comment on that live stream. I'm giving away 1,500 more dollars, just for getting to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, and as a, as a thank you to you guys. So if you haven't watched the video yet, check it out, comment uh, on that video. I'll uh, link it in the description down below. And if, if there's somebody in your life that is interested in what we talk about on this channel, but can also maybe use 500 bucks before Christmas, or somebody that, that's struggling, um, share that video with them. Because not only will I think they have fun watching it and get some laughs out of it, because it really was fun, um, but they, they could have a chance at winning $500. Um, so I, it's, a, it's something that I want to do to give back to you guys in the community, um, but I would encourage you to share that video as well. So thank you so much. As always, if you didn't already do it, click that beautiful red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. <laughs>